Hello, hello, and welcome to Quackalope, and today we're going to do a preview slash gameplay of Arrakan Wars published and designed by Nothing But Games. And if you haven't noticed, I'm actually joined today by a new cast member in the Quackalope flock or ponder things. This is Ian Horton, and yes, Horton like the books. Yes. What's up, Ian? As in the who. Um, <laughs> and I, you know, personally, I don't like to be put in any boxes. You know, mm. I'm I'm more of an ocean and not a pond. I don't think you fit in any standard box. This is very But you true. are incredibly yeah. tall. Large and lanky, yes, is what they call me. <laughs> lanky is the exact word I would use for you. However, I don't have that in my normal lexicon, so thank you for adding it. Yeah, well, you are definitely always happy to serve. very lanky. And so... Ian and I have been doing a little bit of a test run of Iraq and War so that we can bring it to the channel for you. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be an expandable card game, uh, inspired both by Magic the Gathering and Warhammer, and this is said by the designer himself, where what you're doing is that you're trying to place cards onto this battlefield, trying to gain the most amount of points by the end of the ninth round. Every time that you place down a card, you'll have different situational things that you have to keep in mind of, specifically your opponent trying to take away those cards. And so the ultimate goal is to have the most points. So Ian, when we started playing around with this, you yes. used a really interesting comparison <laughs> there that I think is actually quite apt. It's not exactly it? like that, but it's cool. It's based on something I've never played. Yes, uh. exactly. <laughs> what, what was that? I, I felt like this is what I think of I conceive of auto chess of almost mm -hmm, being like, mm -hmm. in that you know you're trying to you're trying to focus on your placements, you're trying to focus on your order, and you are trying to take out as many obstacles in your way as possible. And so the cool thing about that is that as you start creating those blockades, because one of the interesting things about Iraq and Wars is that it's a card game and also a grid movement game, but you're not, not all your cards are constantly moving. You have to create those situations like you were explaining mm -hmm. that would allow you to keep those points on the board all the way up to the ninth round. And I guess we can start kind of jumping into a little bit more formally how yes. the game plays and how it functions, right? So every player is going to have a specific faction, right? Um, I'm using the fire faction, the, 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 the blacks. No, I don't know what the name of this particular faction is, but I know yours is called the Great Order, for sure. So yes. I'm the red faction, he is going to be playing as the silver faction. Yes. Right? And so every deck of cards that's in this game is going to have a very different or unique play style. Blue cards are going to be very defensive and also actually very mobile. They're gonna be able to kind of transport themselves across the entirety of the board, kind of breaking the rigidity of the movement that other mm -hmm. factions go through. The Forest Clan is actually very powerful and strong and explosive, yep. right? And mm -hmm. so this, so from, I, we haven't played these yet. This no. is gonna be the first time we try these them. These are gonna be brand new decks for us. Mm -hmm. The Red Faction, from what I understand, is gonna be very offensive, in your face, just mm -hmm. like I am in everyday life. And what yes. about your faction, Ian? So I was looking through, and I think these guys are gonna be a bit more focused on their formation. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be really important for me, for, for me to be building up those bulwarks and getting my guys in position to fight. What, what, bulwarks? Bulwarks. Bulwarks. Yes. What is a bulwark? That is a defensive fortification, sir. Why, why do you have to be so fancy and smart all the time? Because I am fancy and smart, uh, It's Jan. like, what, uh, okay. I'd rather describe you as lanky. Can I use that one instead? Just I lanky I mean, all of these on. adjectives can go together. <laughs> <laughs> and so, with those factions, this is going to be mainly a two-player game, right? Yes. So, head-to-head. And with those factions, we'll be going on to this board. So as I explained, at the beginning of every round is always going to start with people drawing cards and then playing those cards. The interesting thing is that this game has a little bit of bluffing too. Every time that you play down a card, you'll be placing those cards face down. Mm -hmm. And the most important restriction in Iraq and Wars is that cards need to be adjacent to each other when they're placed. Yes. Here's the cool thing though, mm -hmm. it doesn't necessarily have to be your cards. For example, Ian could be placing down his cards and I could place one next to his. It doesn't always have to, you don't have to create a, a blob of your color across yes. the board, right? Although there is, it feels sometimes like an area majority game, right? Yeah, it, it can. It, I think it really depends on what other cards you have around those cards. Mm -hmm. So there's certainly gonna be cards where you, you've got a big hitter and you wanna place them in the middle of your enemy's forces versus, you know, you've got little guys, but maybe they benefit a lot from the cards next to them. 
that to give them a lot more strength or durability. Yep, and so that is gonna be the main puzzle of Arakan Wars, right? The cards, how you play them, and in the order that you play them. And so the next thing that you do is that you flip those cards face up activating any special abilities that are on those cards. And you're gonna have different things. You're gonna have things like land cards, which mm -hmm. are fortresses or buildings that give you some type of permanent boon if you can keep it. Creature cards, which are going to be the main crux of your deck, yep. right? It's gonna be the majority. Absolutely, most of what you're playing. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna have spell cards. And spell cards kind of work a little bit differently. They can exist in two planes of existence. Either spell cards go on the battlefield itself or they go in some loca in a special location called the Astral Plane. Which is, and they're usually one-shot abilities yeah. that are very powerful, right? Yeah, it's very powerful and most, most importantly, a lot of them can go anywhere on the battlefield. Exactly, well, always following those restrictions of about course. being next to other things, yes. right? And so after you reveal those cards, then players will activate it and you will keep going back and forth through the rounds, activating cards, not activating cards, etc., until you determine a winner. Ultimately, I feel that Arakan Wars is a very straightforward yet crunchy card-based card based game, yeah. but with tactical positioning in a certain Absolutely, way, right? Yeah. Like The idea of that grid and how it interplays with the core system is actually quite fascinating. Is why I actually wanted to combine both things together because in terms of a preview, the game is actually quite easy to explain to people. Yes. But yeah. I think we can consolidate everything and keep it into a pretty tight video as well. The last thing that I'll mention about Arakan Wars is that this, from what I understand from the designers, this is more of a world that they're trying to build. This is not just a card game. Mm -hmm. I understand that there's other games in the pipe work and there's a lot of lore that we're gonna read. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the preview, this is an expandable card game. So we already have the first season one expansion for all, all, all of the core factions that we have in the box. Yep. We're not gonna play with those yet, because we're still we're not adept at this no, game. No, no. <laughs> Finesse, what is that? <laughs> so we're gonna take the, the training wheels on. We're gonna keep them on for now. Yes. And with that, I think we're ready to start with the gameplay, but because the Quackalope is not here, I do wanna honor his presence with us, his you know, spirit. I can feel him. Yeah, yeah. I can feel him in the room. We've performed the necessary rituals and we've brought him here in spirit. Mm. How, do, how did the ritual go again? You, oh, you it remember? was a lot of chanting and only a few sacrifices. Mm, ex exactly, mm -hmm. what, what sacrifices though? Well, judging from our last game of this, it was a lot of chickens, or penguins, <laughs> really. Nihilist penguins! <laughs> so, Ian, I'm gonna give you a special honor. Mm -hmm. Could you please Read the flavor text. <sighs> my favorite part. Hmm. I'm putting on my best fantasy announcer voice here, so we'll I'm see how this goes. This. I'm gonna be judging you, by the I, way. You know, it's gonna be you a better perfect be amazing. Ten. It's gonna. I will. I am a professional. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we'll see if I'll, if I'll ask for your rates to after my, this. To myself. <laughs> uh, so we are going to learn about today the rise of the Gray Order, the peoples of Arakan had been at peace for some time. But this was about to change. Change came in the form of greed and steel. Shrouded in darkness, the Grey Order, sword and shield of the kingdom of men, is showing its true colors as it is ravaging the provinces of Arakan. This malevolent secret society is at the root of every conspiracy, every conflict, as they pit nations against each other. Troubled times come with the rise of the Grey Order, each province will have to go to war in order to survive. Four nations are at the heart of this unprecedented conflict. Entrenched in what remains of Vestur, the Nakas fight to protect their forest lands with one goal in mind, to preserve the purity of the precious ecosystem. To the south of Merkur, a foul swamp is spreading, contaminating the waters. Crawling out of it are hordes of mutated and deadly creatures. In the north, the will to preserve their immaculate white lands from outside threats have forced the indigenous people to rally under one banner. Finally, from Byartor, the Grey Order are scheming and slashing their way towards absolute world domination. Okay, um, I would give that a solid seven. Yeah, you know, yeah. I can see room for improvements, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but a passing grade overall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's So there's competition in the flavor text reading. Michael Matthews is currently like the king <sighs> so far that I know, I, but that was pretty good. You know, I I'm, I'm coming for that crown. 
You hear that, Michael Matthews? Ian's coming for you. You better watch out. I'm working on these pipes. These pipes are gonna sing. <laughs> Can you give us a little taste of singing, though? No. Because no, that's this not is, part of your repertoire. No, we are mm. not. We are not a singing channel here. <laughs> Well, excuse you. Mm -hmm. Yes, we can be. And by the way, since I'm new to kind of doing previews, I kind of forgot one of the most important things that you should mention when you're doing a Kickstarter preview. Everything you're seeing here is prototype form, not final in any yes. in any way. Yes. However, artwork is pretty bombastic from what I've seen so far. Yes, we are either fan way, of that. Either way, mm -hmm. my friend, I think it's time we begin this game. And I'll ask mm. you one key question. Heads? Or magical orb side. Well, you know, when given the choice, I always vote with orb. Mm, okay, I thought you were going to say the original thing and go for heads. Between Absolutely. those two things. Or nothing's more powerful than orb, Jan. This is, <laughs> this is known. Wow, that went really high. Orb! Oh, well, that's unfortunate. And now I'm going to have that as a reminder. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're going to be first player. At the beginning of every game, you're going to draw seven cards, okay? And... FYI, we didn't do this during our little preview, but you can mulligan. And so you can choose how many cards you keep from that or just mulligan the entire hand. Okay. The important thing is that you draw back up whatever card, so you have seven at the end, and shuffle your deck, okay? <laughs> very important. Very, very important. Okay, so let's see what we got. Oh, wow. Ooh, Ian, you're going down, and this yeah, deck Yeah, they are looks... pretty saucy, aren't they? Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Um, are you sure you don't just want to concede... You know, I feel like I could, but that wouldn't make for a very fun video. Mm, maybe. These guys are giving me the creeps, okay? They're giving me the creeps mm. of how menacing they are. Yes. Mm. Quite scary, quite powerful. Wow. Can the is... kingdoms of man stand up to the no. force? No, the answer is no. No, you can't. Of it's these impossible. swamp guys. I'm pretty sure these are the swamp guys. That's called the sw official name for the faction. Yes, the swamp yes. Guys. Yeah, there's no... I don't, I don't see you winning so far. Are you going to keep your hand? Ooh, you know, mm. it is a choice. Mm. It's a, it's a, it's a tif difficult choice. It's a difficult choice. Not for me, because my I hands might are have to mulligan this one, actually. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Starting off strong. Okay. Okay, well, go ahead and mulligan. Mulligan that, that so unfortunate hand. So we're just going to... Just, just draw the top seven Just before, draw the top seven. And so then one. shuffle the deck again. Oh, wow. Hmm. Well, how unfortunate. Remember when I said that this is a bluffing game? Mm -hmm. There's nothing to bluff about this hand. This hand is absolutely incredible. It's it's so good. It's I, you, you, I'm yeah. giving you one last chance mm -hmm. so that I don't embarrass you publicly mm -hmm. across all platforms. Will you concede? The kingdoms of man will never concede to you, foul creature. Yeah, we will destroy you. Kingdoms of Man stand strong! Can you say nothing but beyond Kingdom of Man? Come on. We you are the work. Kingdom of Man. We got to work on the branding. Because <laughs> you're so forgettable. Oh, right, mm -hmm. that's true. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, Ian. So, you done shuffling? Done. Okay, perfect. That's, <laughs> I, I had a feeling it would be exactly at that point. Okay, great. Yep. So, unfortunately, you won't be able to mulligan again. That's your only mole again. Oh. But good news, you're able to place on the board for the first time. <sighs> Restrictions on, on first time Happy placement times. in the first round. You see these four green squares? Ian can only place in those four squares. And again, those two cards need to be adjacent to each other. And adjacency here counts orthogonally, not diagonally. So Ian, with that said, what shall you be starting with? Oh, it is, I've got a few options here, a few choices. And you know what? Mm. Let's start with this. And let's start with these two. Uh, <laughs> so you remember what I was saying? Like, oh my god, this is like so crazy mm -hmm. how I'm just like, all the cards are super powerful. Mm -hmm. uh, Apparently there's a thing in this game called weaknesses. Yeah. Hmm. I don't like those. Yeah. They're not they're not as fun oh, as I thought they were. So be. fun, Jan. Mm, no. No. Mm -mm. Mm. No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh first round, Ian places two cards, then it's my turn to place two cards. This is done in turn order, however, they will be simultaneous play as well. 
Oh, God, I guess I'll start with that guy here, maybe. Yeah, whatever. Hmm. Okay, that's going to be it for my hand. All right. Okay, so three, two, one, and reveal cards. Boom! Can you deal Boom. with it? Can you dig it? I can, in fact. I don't like what you dig. Uh, okay, so let's see. Skill plus one attack and one defense to all adjacent. One plus one defense. Oh, no. Are they all six? Oh, yes, they are. I hate that starting. That's a really powerful starting combo, which I absolutely despise. Oh, oh, that's yes. a darn shame. It, yeah, it is. It might be, it might be a darn shame. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. Excellent. So, when you reveal cards, you will place down what is called your claim or your faction token on each card to denote two things: that it's yours, and also when it's been activated and deactivated. Yes. And will you be doing anything? Well, so far. Unfortunately, yes. your your boy here has mm -hmm. two defense. We're beefy swamp things. Which is matching my boys to attack. Oh, so what you're saying is that mm. if my attack or your attack is not superior to the defense of the creature that we are attacking, we cannot kill that creature? We can't kill it, unfortunately. Oh, this is a very messy preview. I feel we should have said all these things at the beginning. You know, right? I believe in learning by doing. <laughs> Oh, see, this is why he's such a great guest to have here. Okay, we'll see are if you, you activating? Say that at the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we'll see what people say. Yeah. So you're not activating. I anything. unfortunately cannot activate any of my knights. Well, you've activated my trap card, which is nothing because this game doesn't work like that. I won't be activating anything either. Mm. And so we are moving to the next round. Okay. So I'm going to use this flip, flippity flip, so that we denote who's first and who's activating. I feel every like round. that's almost designed that way. Mm. You would think that, you mm. would think that, but it is. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so currently we're actually tied for points so far. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna keep a scorecard active, and when I say active, I mean I'm just gonna say it. I have 10 and you have 10. Yeah. That's gonna change though very soon. Yes, because more cards are gonna be played. Ah, yeah, that's true. That's how math works. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, thank you for taking the sails out of my, out of my ship or whatever you call it. Okay, so, hmm, I am going to be bold and play this card today. I'm gonna place this right here. Okay. okay. Right there, right there, yes. It's a bold choice. It is a bold choice. Let's see, and what else would I be activating? Hmm. 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 And I'll be playing that. Oh, interesting move. Yeah. Going to try and surround me, I see. Oh, me? <laughs> oh, pish posh, what did you say? <laughs> you did draw two cards at the beginning of your turn, I did, right? in Correct. fact. Because yes. that is part of the turn order. Yes. Oh, I don't like that. Why are you doing mm -hmm, that? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And mm -hmm. let's see what else we have here. Mm, me no likey. Me no likey. Let's see. I think I'm going to throw down this. <sighs> okay. Hey, you know what? We've just reached simultaneous reveal phase. So in three, two, and one. There we go. Look at those boys. Oopsie. What is that? A horrible, Why, terrifying that, monster? A big, oh, scary no. monster, yes. A big, scary monster that's going to take away 10 of your points. Oops. Okay, so we reveal, mm -hmm. right? Then we place our activation tokens. So mm -hmm. place your activation tokens, please. Down they go. And so weakness, let's see. The drunk knight cannot attack enemy cards with an even value. Yeah. Hmm. So you would be able to attack the nasty roach. Yes. That's unfortunate. No. I was planning on doing that. But you know what I won't be able to do? Probably kill your other guys. Ah, oh, that's true. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Well, you might be able to, yeah, you will be killing my, why are you Why are you taking away my points? The, the entire point of this round was for me to win. Yeah. Just. You know, show you how you're going to be crushed underneath our powerful fists. Well, we have powerful armor. So powerful your, powerful, fist your powerful fists are weak against our powerful armor. Oh, we're going to prove that right now. Yeah. One of the things <laughs> that I didn't want to get to in the preview itself was the special attributes and abilities that each card has, right? Because it's a little bit more nuanced than I thought that the gameplay itself would be better at explaining that, right? So, speaking of, this Grey Horseman has... An, an attribute, and that attribute is called movement. So that means that this card can break away from that rule of 
kind of like you play a card and the card is there for the rest of the game, yep. they can they can break away from that and they'll be able to start moving around the board, but they always have to end their movement adjacent to another card. And so the other very special, which you'll get to see in action, is called Perforation. Mm. And imagine that that card is a lance and it's just like bashing through bodies until it can't bash no more. So every time that this card kills an enemy creature, it'll tick down one its attack value for that round, and it'll keep going until its attack value cannot go down or it reaches an, 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 an immovable object, yes. basically. So we wanna show how that works? Show them how it's done, Dan. Okay, so we're going to activate the child. Oh, is it really child? The, the child oh. eater, yes. Oh no, the child eater. How, how do you think that sounds like? I think it's more Well, I think it's more like No, you gotta get more gravel in the gold. Mm, yeah, I, th I, think, I think that might be the closest one. Mm. So, first thing, so we're gonna activate that perforation. That's the dead. Yeah, and one unfortunately. Forward. And oopsie, that's the dead. Yep. And it moves another yep. one forward. <laughs> oopsie. Yep. Ooh. Now, what is important to note on this card, though, is that it does have a weakness. I, I did see that, mm -hmm. but I, I planned it out intentionally. Yes, 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 yes. indeed. Uh, there is there is an issue, though. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a special thing in this game called group attacks. So whenever a creature has too much a attack or, def uh, well, too much defense, yes. you're going to want to group against it. So for every orthogonal card that you have, you may activate it, in order to kind of combine all their attack values and take down the creature, because remember, you always have to be superior to the defense. And with that said, uh, I am done, basically. I can't do really much. I, yeah. I, that was a bluff. I was trying to distract you, and it yeah. totally worked. Yeah, yeah. I, there was not, you know, there was not necessarily a whole lot I could do if mm. you did bring out the Child Eater. Um, <laughs> so, you know, this was also kind of a bluff. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> So, you know, counter bluff, if you will. Mm. So on my turn, what I'm gonna do is, well, this this drunk knight here, you are unfortunately not equal to his def to yeah. his attack value mm -hmm. here. So your boy, your little roach here is getting squashed. <laughs> That's how I think the roach sounds. I don't, I feel that they're gonna get very annoyed at our voices, but I'm so sorry, it's how we play games. Yeah, we're, we we're awful, awful people. <laughs> um, and I'm going to move. Oh, you are this guy here, Good. and attack him. Oh. So unfortunately, you do not meet the necessary criteria to survive that attack. Mm. You are also dead. Ogre no likey. Ogre no like. Mm. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. And so, new round, everything refreshes, so we will be able to activate all of these things once more. Yep. And we draw two cards and the game continues onwards. Onwards and forwards, I say. Hmm. Well, you get to place first, don't you? I do, yes. Mm, great, yes. I'm not even gonna plan my turn Indeed. Yet. Mm, yeah. So we're placing that there for oh, sure. And, you know what? Interesting, I was not expecting that at all. You you wouldn't have. Mm-mm, no. Nope. No, you wouldn't. Mm-mm. And let's say, I'm gonna put this, no, you know what, let's do this in. Let me put that here. Fascinating strategy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, if that's what you're gonna do. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna place one here right there. Uh huh. Yeah, we're gonna, gonna place this guy. Right there, you say? Let me Bold say. choice. Well, mm, uh, mm, mm, uh, right. Maybe. Mm, fine. I'll place it here. Oh, I feel this is all bad choices. We'll okay. see. Mm -hmm. Reveal. Because now is revealed. So we have ourselves another drunk knight. Okay. We have ourselves an infantryman. 
Okay, so skill plus one to all. Uh, I hate that guy. Interesting placement. I think I know what you're planning then. Yes, yes indeed. Lots of drunk nights then. By the way, you might notice that we're flipping our cards to the opposite side of where we're facing. It is described in the rule book that we should do that just to be a little bit, you know, sportsmanship and whatnot. Not that I know what that is, but, you know, they recommend that we do. You cheat do, bastard. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> Your turn. All right. So oh, no! Boop. No! Boop. Oh. <laughs> Damn it, I, I had a feeling I should have placed the card there. And that is a reason why there is placement, sir. I really should have placed that card there. I, I would have survived. You absolutely could have, yes. Too bad you didn't. <laughs> Damn it. Well, you know what I'm gonna do? Uh-huh. Are you gonna kill that drunk guy? Yes, I am. Oh no, what a loss for the force. Mm-hmm. You just lost one whole point. You want to know how much I lost? Is Not it, even close to that. Is it an extra zero added on the end? No. No, I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so, yeah, I, I took away ten of your points, and you took away ten of my points. Oh, we never gave the sum of all the things. So, 14, 18 against... 11. Oh, no. 12. 12. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. I'm so sad right now. I'm, I'm <laughs> really just trying to reel back from this pain that I'm going through. Oh my god. Mm. Oh. Oh no. Oh, come on. Really? Ugh. That's unfortunate. Okay. Okay, okay. And do that. And we're going to do that. Interesting choice, sir. Interesting mm -hmm. choice. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh my god, I can't believe I lost my child eater. It just wanted to play with the kids. What a, it, it, it was, people you know, just were scared of how it looked. It wasn't actually eating kids. It was just playing with them. Yeah, I was a, you know, I would like a normal beg Cthulian to creature disagree, no, given you know all that happened when it came out. Oh no, no, that, were, those weren't kids. Those oh, were so, adults. so so so. Oh, it they, totally kills adults. It doesn't kill kids. That's important. I really it feel like them. them. It's horribly misnamed. Yes, that's because of you. You want to know where we got the name from? Want to take a gander? Want to mm. take a guess? I could. I could. The kingdom of men. Mm. We are pretty prejudiced. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you are. Yeah. Yeah. And also, apparently, you take a bit with uh, with your card play there, hmm? hmm? Well, you know, we also <laughs> like to really build up the play, you know? We actually like he, to think, not like you ogres. Right? Is that is that what you wanted to say? Mm, That's a little bit prejudiced yeah. of you, too, saying that we don't think through our, mm. our turns. Like, leaving a ten creature just totally available for you to move in and attack it. Because, obviously, yeah. that was so that was super... That was a fun play. I'll put that there. Oh, no, I don't like that at all. And, uh... But has in this here. I really don't like that placement. You do know that I go for. Oh, that means that that's the spell card, isn't it? Actually, let's. No, you can't change it. You place it. It's chess rules. No, no, no you stop that. <laughs> I I can stop it if you want. No, no, okay. fine, fine. You're the guest. It will. Well, I will leave you. What if I tell you it doesn't make a difference? <laughs> oh, they're the same card. No, they're not. You wouldn't have changed it. Okay, so three, two, one, and reveal. Ah, oh, damn it. <sighs> this, just to show it off to the people, is an astral card. Oh, so that goes there, actually. So effect, plus two defense to all allied six creatures. These creatures are deactivating during this round. Oh, okay, so he's the only is... six. Okay, so you haven't no. used it yet. Yeah, so it is it is sitting there. Oh, okay. For when you decide to, okay. to go for it. Mm, okay, excellent, mm. excellent. So, uh, I'm going first. Okay. This is very important. It is, yes. Because I will be killing one of your stupid horsemen. One of my horsey boys? Yep. This guy's mm. dead. Equine scream. And unfortunately, you will also be killing my Swamp Thing, but yes. I wasn't too concerned about it in the first place. Mm -hmm. Okie 
Okay. Okay, and then I will go, and he's dead. <laughs> yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, no surprises there. Mm, I don't like that at all. Mm. Mm. It's unfortunate what happened to the horse, though. <sighs> I wasn't... Eaten! Whole thing? He had a great time. Yeah. He thought the the equestrian meat was... Fin- is that how you say that? What, what is the term? Equine meat. The equine meat was fantastic. Mm. 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 Oh, wow. You know, serving it raw was a real, a real choice. You know, it, usually they don't go for it that rare. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, so you're going to be first this round. Ah, oh, okay, Ian. So, hmm. Choices, choices that I'm not happy with any of them. That's unfortunate for you. Hmm, is yeah. it? Is it now? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so. I think I'm going to do. Are, are you going first? I believe I'm going first. Oh, no. <laughs> mm, <laughs> I don't like it. Uh, I don't like it at all. Mm, uh, I'm still brimming with confidence. Mm. So much of it. Yes. So much confidence. So much. Uh, I feel like you saw that, but okay. I, can, I don't have <laughs> flash reading speeds. I, I can't, no, I I saw a little bit. I saw okay. it was gray. Yeah. Was that yeah. supposed to be secret? Uh, it's a big part of it, yeah, mm. yeah. Unfortunate for me, truly. <laughs> okay. Um, and let's just do a little thing here. Oh, I just realized something that I, I misplayed. And it was my mistake. You misplayed something? This, I did, it says, start at the end of the round, not after activation. Ooh, oh no. Which is not great for me. So in the spirit of fairness, mm. I have noticed that thing and I am putting it away. It's very bad for me. Reading comprehension, yes. everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, oh that does sting. Yeah. That makes me feel a little bit better. Yeah. By the way, are you winning? No, not yet. Not yet. No, okay, no. okay. No. So it's currently Certainly still not. 18 versus 12. The exact same number we Certainly had last Certainly not, round. and I may actually have to change my strategy since that is gone. Oh, ooh, ow, okay. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Oh. That there. Place that right there. Okay. I'm scared of that decision, but we will find out soon enough, won't we? You really don't like that knight. Me? <laughs> hey, every point counts in this. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You're free to go for that. If oh you no, so you're choose. first. Yeah, I'm going first, so you oh. may wish to consider your options. I might may wish this really or something, right? Oh no, that means that this won't really do much anyways. Cause oh you go <sighs> Make your choice. Okay. Place that there, and then I'll be placing that here. Bold move, sir. Bold move. All right, are you prepared to reveal? This worked okay. out perfectly. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Oh, are you still? Oh, so you're all about buffing, huh? Yes, like I, I hate said, it. important the formation. Oh, I hate it. Hmm. So, what we just revealed. First, the hero of the Battle of Nears can add plus one defense. So you don't have to worry about that one anymore. But it would have added one defense to all adjacent units. Well, he is simply deactivated. He is still adding that defense. It is a skill, sir. Oh, don't worry. He's going to take care of that. Look at his what? Oh. Mm. Ooh. Yes. Ooh, yes. Then this card basically deactivates all adjacent units. So infantryman is down. That is down. Unfortunately, I don't have anything else. This will disappear at the end of the round. 
And I also added a land card. It's the first one that we've seen. Mm -hmm. Again, very powerful. It adds plus two to everything around it. Orthogonally, yes. of course. So quite and powerful indeed. It is quite powerful indeed. Mm -hmm. mm. And you placed the one next to it. Oh, how unfortunate. Oh, mm. yeah. Mm. And that's going to be it. Oh, no, I know what you're it doing now. It can attack, though, can it? It will. Yes, it will attack. It has no attack. Oh, no, no, no. It cannot yeah. attack. It's a land. Yes. Yes. Mm. I just noticed something that you will be doing. I, I don't like it. Yes, unfortunately, this this was a good play on your part. Thank you, thank you. Yes. I, saw, I saw what you were doing. Because uh, it would have been two of them. Mm. 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 Well, okay. Yeah. So, horsey boy away. Yep. Uh, yep. 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 Yeah. Yep. 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 Mm -hmm. But uh, you have done quite a, a number on my hero here, and unfortunately, I feel like he is not long for this world. Nope. You lost a ten. Ugh. Oh, pain and misery. Now you know what it was like for my. <laughs> Well, I don't, I don't know if that uh, is something I can truly comprehend. The mind of such creatures are not known to man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We're already at round six. Okay. Yeah, we are Quick moving. Playing. So we got six plus eight, 14, 15 mm. versus 21. Oh, that's, okay. That uh, forge there is doing you a good number. For now, if I can defend it. Oh, my God. <laughs> what is this thing? Lord. Wow. That is crazy. Hmm. Ooh, okay. You're up first. Ah. <sighs> ah. <sighs> 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 Oh, I think I should go safer. Oh, I could do so much with this guy. How much would I? Okay. I think that's worth it in the end. I'm going to place that guy there. Okay, interesting choice. Place him there. And then I will place... Oh, him there. Mm. Okay. Oh, I'm so scared about this. This could not, backfire so bad. Not quite what I expected. I know. <laughs> oh, I'm so scared. I don't know if that was a good choice or not. Well, unfortunately, you know, I've misplayed one of my cards. would probably be very useful here. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Something of the astral nature, maybe. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, so, mm -hmm. somewhat. I'm so scared. Oh my god, I'm so scared. I don't know if I did right. Mmm. Ooh, no, 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 no. No, no, definitely that. What? Ugh. Yeah, definitely that. Definitely that. Fine. I just noticed something major that I would have Fine. been conceding there. Fine. Ooh, okay, you good. Baby. Forward planning, everybody. You Forward planning. Baby. Mwah. I'm fine. I'm fine calling it. Mm hmm. Also, you did it once. I could do it once too, right? Right. right. Yeah, I feel like I've done it once, and you've done it like three times now. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> Excuse you. I feel like being prejudiced against against ogres. Okay. Put that there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's see what else we want. Hmm. I think. Hmm. No, no. Mm. 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 Kingdom of Man. Mm. What? Is it here? Hmm. Uh, okay. Simultaneous reveal? Let's do it. Whee! Oh my god, that thing is terrifying. Oh no, it's a... Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, here are my choices. I would have taken out both of those guys in a single turn. Yes. But, I would have taken you... out everyone yes. that you had. But, 
that would have left these two areas available for you. Extremely vulnerable. In yes. the next turn, which you were all, would have been on the attack end. Yes. Exactly. So that's why I didn't do that, I, although I felt it was a better play. I figured that might have been the case, and had you had you done that, I definitely would have played a bit safer myself. Oh, okay, so resolution time, you have no initiative cards. And initiative nope. cards, we ha actually, we haven't seen any initiative cards I do cards not yet. believe my deck actually has any. Oh, how mm -hmm. unfortunate. Boo-boo. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Omni Strike. So Omni Strike, we haven't seen it in action, but it attacks everything simultaneously that it's orthogonal. Yes. So this dies because of the plus. Yes. Okay, so the bye plus bye. is doing big work for you on my numbers. And this guy kills that guy too because he only still has one defense. Uh, that is correct, sir. Mm -hmm. So both of these gentlemen have been activated. You really want to protect those land cards, everybody. Very much so. Uh, and that is going to be it for my round. I believe it's also going to be it. Oh. He no. has a range attack of three. Yes. Oh, no. And a plus one, which means he can take out your Swamp Troll. Here. Oh, no. So, so range attacks, you count from the space. Oh, wow. Okay, I don't like him at all. So, activated, right? That is, in fact, his activation. Oh, okay. First shots have been fired. Mm. The siege begins now. Wow, we've been really aggro this game. This has been way more aggro than our last yeah, game. Yeah, <laughs> we have no, we are not letting any of us have more than four cards at any one point in this game so far. I am absolutely terrified. Okay, so we refresh. Oh, I mm -hmm. forgot to refresh this guy last turn. Okay, and we continue going. It is round seven and you will be first. Hmm. Draw my cards here. So currently we are at 10, 15, 16 versus 20, oof, okay, that's a lot. 31, for now. For now, yes. Oh, oh, uh, me likey. Me no likey that. <gasps> oh my God, that is beautiful. Oh yes, yes, gorgeous. Indeed. Oh no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Okay, so we can... I'm placing first, remember that. Yeah, that's true. Yes. That's true. I shouldn't be announcing what I'm doing, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe, a bad, maybe a bad strategy, maybe. Well, let's uh, see about... Let's see here. I swear to God, if you have like a five card, I'm I'm going to be so upset. <clears throat> okay, so definitely doing that. save that. I'll play this. Okay. Okay, ready? Ready. Three, two, one. Ooh, excellent. Yep. Let's see. So what are we going to do here? It does have the plus, doesn't it? It does. Move an enemy creature to... So, I've laid an astral card. Astral cards will go here. And so, I have initiative, so I get to go first. Mm -hmm. Move an enemy creature to an adjacent border of another card on the battlefield. So where are you going to put him? I really don't want you to have... Have him anywhere? My Western Forge. I really don't want you to have It would be card. pretty unfortunate for you. That is a very... I was going to do something completely different. I'm forcing your hand, though. You are forcing my hand very much so, and I don't like it. Definitely moving him. To where, though, is the question. Yes, that is the question. Because unfortunately, see, he also has Omni Strike. Yes. So if I were to place him here, you he, put would him there, he would kill everything. Kill everything. Kill everything, no matter where he goes. So and I want him to go way, unless way back. Unless you put him fully out of your range, in which case you will not be able to take him out, and I will gain those 10 points. I don't think I have a choice. I think I'll need to give you these 10 points no matter what, mm -hmm. which is the entire purpose of the game.
Okay. <laughs> you were very quiet. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> so this is activated. Indeed, and uh, so as you saw, initiative is clutch. Yes, very much so, uh, especially with those spell cards. Um, so unfortunately, uh, don't really have the power to do much else mm -hmm. with with what I have. So it's going to go to you, and I think I know what you may be trying. So definitely taking out. Actually, no, I'm going to leave that boy right there. I don't need that boy okay. to go anywhere. I'm gonna take out this boy. Okay. Yeah, I want him to stay there. Yeah, you probably do. Mm-hmm. That was an interesting placement for him. Huh. Okay. And don't forget to place your token on both of those uh, cards. Yes, indeed. And Ian, we move over to the eighth round. Yes. Okay, so. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> uh, you want to take a guess of what I'm doing? Oh. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> okay, creating a little bit of defense force, if you will. Okay, so three, two, one. Oh my god, that's a lot. That's three on each. Oh no. And look what they're in range of. What? What are you talking about? No, you can't. Absolutely can. No, you can't. Absolutely can. We're gonna trade, we're gonna trade. No! <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe you did that. How dare you? Look, you do me dirty, I do you dirtier. How dare you? How dare you? Okay. Okay, so, um, both my boys coming in for the swing and taking out that guy. Uh huh. You gonna do anything else? No. Activate no. Okay. In which case, I did forget to put the activation on there. And that guy too. Yeah. Kaboom! No, no, no. The card stays. It's, it's yours mine now. now. You just switch out the token. Oh no, that's major. Okay, I'm so curious now. So you're not activating anything else, right? Please, uh, no. God, say you're not. Okay, no, thank not you. not activating anything else. Oh my God, that was huge. Oh, you suck, I hate you. <laughs> okay, so now I have, so let's see, we got 10, 20, uh, 30, 34. Yeah, so now. You have 20. 20, 25, 28, uh, 32, four, 39. So what you're saying is it's all coming down to this round. It oh. is all, in fact, coming mm -hmm. down to this. Mm, excellent. Great, great, fantastic. Fantastic. Excellent, yep. Totally, totally plan for it all. Yep, 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 yep. Mm -hmm. oh, you go first. You go. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Okay, so we're, Okay. Mm. Are you prepared? No, not at all. What are you planning? Okay, so probably an Omni Strike there to take out both my guys. Okay, what else? We have a little gift. Gift for you right there. A little gift for me, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Oof. What am I gonna play here? I feel like I gotta rack up points. Mm. Mm. Oh, is there a way for you to get that drunk knight the same 
as my as my serpent? Mm, could be. I can neither confirm nor deny that a drunk knight might be able to become a Hydra Slayer. Stranger things have happened. Okay, if that's the case, I'm gonna place that there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna place this right here. Oh my god, this okay. is it. This is what determines the game. Three, two, one. Oh. Yes, I guessed that correctly. Yes! Okay, okay. Yeah. <gasps> pretty big for you, pretty good one. Okay, 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 okay. So, that goes there. So that's a, uh, what, okay, what is that? That is a Trohan horse. You mean a Trohan, tro is it Trojan? No. no, it is Trohan. It is in fact a, a <laughs> Trohan horse. A Trohan horse, okay. You've been what, fooled by the hearse. What does Trohan horse do? The, the hearse has an ability that allows it to replace it with a card from my hand and then the new card can be activated and the Trohan horse is discarded. Okay, what are you playing? So, hmm, mm hmm, hmm. Interesting, gives you a little bit of maneuverability, huh? Yes, it does, oh. to, to figure out what I want to do with this turn. And your guy there, all Jason Mancus lose their attributes. That's a pretty big one, too. Yep. So, not a Hydra Slayer. Not a Well, this is a skill, not an attribute. Skills and attributes. Does it say skills? No, uh, lose their attributes only. Oh, no, is it? Yes. Decent enemy creatures lose their attributes. Oh, no, that card sucks. I don't want to play that. <laughs> do you want to do another gimme? Well, no, wait a minute. Um, okay, so this, I would have played this then. Same thing, it's just less points. Okay, fair enough. Ah, oh, darn, I wanted, to get, I wanted to get the points. Well, in that case, we will... The Trojan Horse releases the Siege Tower! Oh, no! His perforation? He has perforation. <laughs> I'm the only one that gets to do this this video. Nope. <sighs> oh my god, okay. <sighs> okay you know, I think you win. I think you won. Boop! Oh my god, he won. Kerslam! He is now at three power. Yep. Kerboom! He is now at two power, but he gets a plus one. No way. Boom! No, 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 he impossible. Has, he has... He has four power. Three, two, plus one to make three. No, you have to be joking. Was there anything? I mean, you could have stopped. Oh my god, that's savage. I could have stopped you what? You could have stopped it with the perf. You could have stopped his attribute perforation <laughs> if you had left your card there. He still would have been killed by the, the drunk guy, but I wouldn't have been able to get the seven there. Oh, no. Oh, and then also these guys. Um, this has a plus three, so. Oh no, they could also kill the. Th <gasps> this is so embarrassing. <laughs> you completely wiped me out. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> this is so. Well, I can't even take this anymore. I was gonna take it. I know. <laughs> Just because we did it during the entire gameplay, um, and well, it's the end of the game. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be real quick. I have 14. Let's count well, you. Let's count the numbers. Okay, yeah. that's a mm -hmm. 30, mm -hmm. okay, 40, 50. Let's see, um, 54. 54. Mm. Mm. So, thoughts? Anything you wanna share with the group? You know, sometimes, just gotta start the siege. Mm, no, I mean, I mean thoughts on the game. I I yeah. like it. It's 
You know, it's it's really interesting. The reveal mechanic and the kind of gotcha of some of these cards. Like you can, if you really outmaneuver and outpredict your opponent, it can. There can be turns like that, where you just can absolutely cut a swath. So it's there's there's this com, this sort of uh, element of major surprise that I, I really like in a game like this. Oh. Where you, you just, you set up the big slam at the very end, and that's that's what I love to see. <sighs> oh my god. Speaking, okay, mm -hmm. so, oh my god. I think this is one of the most embarrassing board game moments I've had. Like, was there anything I could have done to prevent that much you of a You could not have prevented the full crush coming in. These guys were already in place. I would have just had seven plus points. Um, it would have it would have involved me uh, just hammering everything else that you had. Um, oh my god! Wow. Um, okay, so yes. so going back into my preview mode. Yeah. I really like the 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 dy dy dynamism that each faction brings. Like they all really feel incredibly oh, different. Oh, very so different. Far. This is this is totally different from our first game. Uh, where, Which I won, yeah, by the way. He won that one. Give it to mm. him. Give it to him. Um, but but like this one, I think with our two factions being what they are, we just went way more aggressive. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the game allows for that, right? It allows absolutely. for the more puzzly nature with the grid placement mm -hmm. where you might, like, there's games where people might just be scared of each other and their powers kind of a, a, a lot Align, for that, so yeah. they go on different sides of the boards. We kind of we kind of coexisted around each other because we cre in the first game we created the perfect oh. barriers around our yeah, particular. Yeah, I, like, I basically took the the center of the board and I had a I had a, a guy who mm -hmm. could not only be attacked if he was group attacked and gave a plus one defense to everything around him. So I just took that center of the board and held it for the entire game. Yep. But uh, but this time around, it was definitely like we were going off into the far flung corners. Things started we going were, downhill from like round six for me. We, you you oh. peaked real early with that child eater. I shouldn't have played it. I, I was I, I I was too hungry. I oh. went too hungry. That was a brilliant play, and it's so neat that the system allows for for that type of dynamic situation to happen. Yeah. I would have never expected that to be possible, but it just makes sense in the order of operations. Yeah, and, and I was lucky I had that last turn because this guy has no defense, so I needed to be on first strike. And what I like mm -hmm. what I like about this type of system over a traditional card game is that the locations, the movement, the grid itself does give oh. decision making a lot more space to breathe. Constantly shifting. Constant mm -hmm. like your your lines, you know, either they're gonna solidify like they did in our last game, where you in which case you have to find a way to break it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, as part of the game. Or you're gonna come out with a situation like this where our center here was constantly shifting. People were going in, they were being taken out. Uh, this looks completely different from where we were originally placing our cards. Wow. Um so, uh, yeah, that was a uh, Quackalope Kickstarter preview slash gameplay. If you want, just subscribe and like. You know what? I'm not even going to go through the motions because I'm not going to publish this video. I'm just going to yeah. do one by myself, a, a normal, straight-of-the-mill preview. Thank you so much for teach, like, helping you know, showing me learn you, the game. Showing you how bad a, yep. face, can, a face can be smashed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Over is no like. And uh, I hope you had fun in your only time on this channel ever, you know, because uh, I'm definitely not inviting yeah, you back. You, not at all. No, uh, not even. <laughs> After this, I don't even know if we're know, friends anymore. <laughs> you know. But I feel like that just creates room for a rivalry. And what what is going to build a channel more than just a heated, intense mm -hmm. mm. rivalry with someone who you know will beat you every time? There's, no, nah, oh well. <laughs> Hmm. Oh my god, look, regardless of what you do, if this gets published, <laughs> remember to do the important thing. Get out, or stay in, and don't play with the inn. Ever. We'll see you guys next time. You Goodbye. really suck. I try. Oh my god, <laughs> fuck this! <laughs> <laughs>